Hello, I'm Mike from Fair Repair and we have a new device on the bench. This is a nice Asus ZenBook model UX334F and um, it is small but very nice. We have actually lever at the back cover. I've never seen or felt something like that on a laptop before. Probably something like a special edition, I have no idea. Uh, however, the situation with this laptop is the following. We can press the power button. The power light comes up. Uh, same here. Here we have a power light. Uh, battery is probably empty. Let's plug the charger. here so the board is still on and uh, we have no picture the display is brand new because the old display is cracked look here the crack And um, the customer tried to replace the display and uh, unfortunately we have still no picture. How can this be? It is not fair, right? No, it is not. However, this is the issue we are dealing with. And the question now is, is it really a display issue? Um, we know a simple method to check. I mean. It could be a BIOS issue, of course, or maybe something else, but there is a simple thing we can check, and this is simply press the caps lock key, because we have an integrated LED here. So let's press the button, and the LED comes up. Can we see that? Like that, maybe? Off. On. Off. On. So the caps lock key and the corresponding LED is actually re reacting, which tells me the board has successfully done the power on self test. So we have indeed a display issue here. A second clear indication is that the customer states um, that, the, that the device can work with external display. So Actually, there is no question at all, but if we wouldn't have the option to test external, then we can conclude it from the caps lock. And even if it is not reacting, it is still not really conclusive, because some devices have a weird boot menu before the actual post, where the caps lock indeed not respond, but it is still working. Some Acer, some Acer models have this. So pay attention, it works with most of the devices with the caps lock, but on some Acer be very careful. Not that you try to troubleshoot the issue where actually no issue is. Okay? So yeah. Um, I really don't want to remove the, 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 the foil here before I'm sure, but it strongly looks like we don't even have picture. So it is not only a backlight issue, but we have uh, completely no display at all, which is, um, yeah, weird. Normally the fold, a display fold does not appear like that. And uh, it is even, I think it is the third laptop in a row, which comes here with display issues. Do I have to think about that? I have no idea what's happening, but um, yeah. Right now I have only display issues here. Okay, so let's power down the board. So we will open the laptop now and see what is going on inside.
What do you think? Again, a manufacturer fault? Ah, this time I don't think so, especially because of the history. I think something was triggered on the mainboard side during the fold, the crack with the, with the old display. And um, for this reason we have this trouble here. So let's see how we can remove this. Okay, this was easy. Because pay attention, we have hidden screws here. Don't try to open the device before removing these screws here. All right? Good. So, let's see. Yeah. How can we open it? Yeah. Yeah. Careful. So So this looks all right to me. So and the first thing, here's the display connector, all right? Let's zoom a bit in. Here. Top right. Here we have a connector on the other side. We have a connector for, I think it is for touch, for the touch part. And yeah, it looks, after first view, everything checks out all right so far. Which is uh, a bad sign, <laughs> to be honest. Let's remove the battery and inspect. You know, always remove the battery before starting any work on a laptop. So let's see what we have here. Connector. The panel connector looks good. And the jack looks good too after first view. Let's plug it back. Yeah. So plug back. And let's see whether we get picture. Probably not, but who knows? Okay, it is turning on. I probably have to charge the device. I don't have a fitting tip for the device. So uh, we need to work with the charger, unfortunately. Yeah, caps lock is responding and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing to spot, really nothing. Good. So now it is on, right? So let's move to the microscope. So Let's see, here's our connector. And here we get a clear picture of the situation. Here at the top we have probably the main power rail. Here. The reason is simple, we have a fuse here which might be blown up. So what else? Oh, here we have a track. Any bigger track? Oh, hard to see. Hard to see. Okay. 
multimeter time, we want to know what voltages do we have present here. Can you follow? Yes. So, let's see. Voltage mode. So here we have 19 volt. All right. This is the board side of the fuse. And here we have the display side. And here we have only 9 volts. 19 and 9. What does it tell us? Simple, no? Let's remove power. And now again in resistance mode. It's probably already enough. So let's check the fuse itself. And we will measure. Mm, 1.4 kilo ohms. It should measure zero. It should measure zero. So this fuse is this fuse is gone. We need a replacement. And we need to remove the board, I think. Oh. Maybe like that. Could work. Let's try. Let's try to remove the fuse like that. Flux. First, we need to decrease the melting temperature of the solder. For this reason, we add low melt solder. Fuses out without hot air. Now we clean the left pad. And when can solder afresh? A new fuse. Good. So let's have a look for a proper fuse. So I don't have uh, a fitting fuse, unfortunately. We need um, around 2 ampere and uh, 32 volts at least. However, for testing purpose, we will solder a zero ohms resistor now. Let's see whether we can do it. Uh, like that maybe. Now from the other side. Let's check the connection. We can check from here to here. And we have connection, which is very good. 
Yeah. So this should actually work. So, only for testing. We will replace properly later. All right? Okay. <laughs> So let's see if this is everything because I have doubts since um, it appears like we have nothing, not even picture. So uh, maybe we have backlight now, but no picture. We will see. We will see. Let's power it on. And nothing. I knew it. Okay, no caps lock. We have to wait. Oh, we have picture. <laughs> we have picture. <laughs> okay, weird. It really looked like we have not even picture. But uh, yeah. Have we, do we have touch here? No. No. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. I will order the fuse now and uh, wait for the arrival. Replace it properly then. So for today, nothing to do here anymore. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, I'm happy if you leave a like, a comment or even subscribe to my channel. The tools I use are linked in the video description. See you on the next one. Bye.